Hello and welcome everybody. Today we have some crazy horse poker chips from is it Straight Edge, the Canadian place that I just barely mentioned. I think it's the Straight Edger, the, the Straight Edgers, the Jocks, I forget who it was. Either way, I'll post a link, I'll post a picture, I'll post a graphic or something with where I got these. So these are just Milanos, also known as the trapezoid pattern. They're China clays. Um, you need to open some of these. And they're up for review. They're up to be tested. So we'll see how they do. So things I'm looking for, number one, I don't think anything has changed when it comes to the chips, okay? So I think the China clay material should be pretty similar. And as usual, we're gonna test some flatness here real quick. We always like to talk about quality on a chip. So these are pretty flat, well applied little labels here. Now that one's not perfect. Here we go, huge stack. A huge stack of almost 20. Yeah. All right, well, whatever. The other thing, so there's the flatness issue. Um, they have a nice feel to them. If you like the Las Vegas feel, these feel pretty good. I've noticed that my old Milanos kind of got sticky and they're kind of annoying. I wonder if I could just clean them really well. So I'm a little hesitant to say this material is great because it does feel porous, like chalky, but it seems like it would attract a lot of dirt and grime. My other thing is I remember I used to be able to, yeah, just break these in my fingers. Uh, so are you gonna do that at the poker table? You know, in a live setting? No, probably not, but they have a good feel to them. Let's weigh them here. I pushed mode, not on, because I'm a genius like that. Steve Buscemi on Armageddon. Is it Armageddon? Because I'm a genius in not so many words. 9.5 grams, that's wonderful. 9.5 to 10.5 is the sweet spot. For me, personally, I know everybody's different. Let's see if they're consistent through colors. Yeah, pretty good. Look at these tens. 9.5, perfect, beautiful. And if I recall correctly, they're 39 millimeter. Metal digital calibers. It's all right. I'm sure I won't scratch them up. Oh no, oh no, my beautiful new chips have a scratch on them. Yeah, oh wow, they're almost 40. Forty mil. We're gonna round up to, wow, they're about 40 millimeter. Huh, interesting. So there you go. Uh, when I see these, like if you remember the last video I made from the that Canadian straight edge poker, straight line, is it straight, whatever, that, that place was the, here I have them right there, right here. The Monaco Millions, I always, I thought of lotteries. Win the lottery. When I see these, I think of a gentleman's club. I don't know why. Maybe somebody can explain it to us in the comments below, but that's what I think of, Crazy Horse Gentlemen's Club. It says club and casino. Hmm. That's what I think of. Is that an Empire State Building there? Do you expect some Art Deco design here? Maybe a little bit. So to me, these are not something I would purchase. Uh, I wanted to see if Milano's had changed at all. They feel good new. I'm just worried about over time if they're gonna get sticky, you know, attract dirt and dust and thumb juices. But they have a good weight, they have a good feel. Shuffle a little bit here for you. Yeah, see, a little not broken in. See, my ceramics, brand new, out of package, can be shuffled pretty well. What about classic poker chips? Classic poker chips. Oh, shuffle beautifully. Oh my goodness. I remember I used to just sit and do, oh wow, that feels great. All right, let's back to these. Not so great. Ah, not so great. That one was pretty good. I only had two stick together. They used to be clumps of three. So, yeah, do they stand on edge? Maybe sometimes? It doesn't look like they will.
giving it all the benefit of the doubts here. So I like the blues, the tens right here. They're pretty cool. I like them. Your one two games. Does anybody play two? Nobody would play like a two five or a five ten at home. You'd have to be like crazy to do that, like a crazy horse to do that. Well, we should play a hand. So this is our pot here because that's a very realistic looking pot at the crazy horse. Two drinks minimum at the crazy horse, Poker Chip Forum, patron. And these are some plastic cards. Are these a Trafail uh, Polish cards? I think they are. Are they? What are these? Yeah. Yeah. Made in Poland? Am I saying that right? Okay, anyway, I don't even know if I've shuffled those. Good enough. Buckle up. We're dealing Jane Doe in. We have an flop. It's a juicy. Oh, it's got a whole lot more fruit smoothie right there, didn't it? All right, I can tell you right now, I would not have played that hand. And if I hadn't, I wouldn't have won. <laughs> Shh, I'm a good winner. It's all right. <laughs> all right, it's okay. Calm down. I had a two, all right? Everybody knows twos are something. I don't know if I'd say lucky, but there's something. At least they're not a one. All right. Let me know. Oh, first... Huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Like sometimes it's just hard to get these out. Just so much in life and we just bought a new house and we got a lemon. So I'm just, it seems like there's constantly just a, a train, just one after another full of like repairs that need to get done. So thank you again so much to my patrons. Also, if you want to support this channel, you can visit my Amazon shop. I do have some poker related, gaming related products there golf rest the stuff as well you can go have a look i am an amazon associate i make proceeds from qualifying purchases thank you everybody for watching if you enjoyed this content please subscribe